Today is the 25th anniversary of this game. Game six, the God. 1993 finals. For what it's worth, I was in the building. It's worth nothing. Uh, that means it was 25 <laughs> years ago. The Bulls inbounded the ball down two to the Suns. They wound up getting the ball to John Paxson for the game winner. That was the championship winner. That was game six, and they won the series that night in Phoenix. So what better tribute can we pay to this incredibly famous moment than having Jalen Rose draw all yes. over it on our Let's do it. Tell so, us what you say. So first and foremost for you youngsters out there, this was, what, 25 years ago? 25 years ago today. Oh. Pre-HD. So we're going to yeah, start it right oh. there. Oh, my goodness. Okay? It <laughs> looks, looks like you need an antenna on top of the television oh, to actually get it working. Okay. So for those that might not know, this is the greatest basketball player to ever play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce you to somebody. His name is Michael Jordan. Yes. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. And, of course, you're going to give him the basketball with 11 seconds to go mm -hmm. because it's the NBA Finals. And he went to the finals six times and actually won MVP. But here's what gets overlooked in this play. They have a Hall of Fame coach, too. His name is Phil Jackson. Mm. And people underestimate the fact that Michael Jordan, hey, young people, he didn't always take every game-winning shot. He actually passed the ball to his teammates. What a noble concept when you play basketball. <laughs> and here's the thing that Phil did. He put in Charles Barkley into action. This is Scottie Pippen, ladies and gentlemen. And all of a sudden, when you're trying to get Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen into action, if you're Sir Charles Barkley, oh, you got to no. keep this guy in front of you, Greeny. And guess what he does? A bad gamble. Mm. Mm. And now all of a sudden, when you do this bad gamble, you got Scottie Pippen going downhill, one of the top 50 players of all time, to make a decision. And now you're going to read what he does. So, Scottie Pippen penetrates, and all of a sudden, you got Horace Grant trying to get my hands on some ground like Horace, right? But watch what he does. He'll give up a good shot, as great basketball teams do, Ruh -roh. to get a great shot. Wide open. Wow. And before you know Why is he it, wide open? he's going to get him that basketball and see what Boop. happens. Bang, bang. And the greatest thing I like about <laughs> this play is – the unbridled joy of all of the people involved. Watch, first and foremost, look at this. He knows this is good. Look at this. <laughs> he, al he already celebrating, okay? Now watch this guy. Look at Jordan. Look at MJ. Come on. Celebrating with his guys. So, lesson, young people, Michael Jordan actually shared the basketball with his teammates. So when it's late in the game, don't think that you always have to take the shot. That's really interesting. I did not remember Barkley with the bad gamble. What I do remember vividly is that Horace Grant had not scored a point in the game. He was as cold as you could possibly be. So there were a lot of people at the time who were critical of them for not for collapsing on Grant and leaving Paxson open. That's a really good telestration. 25 years later, the Pax man dialed up a game winner for the Bulls' third straight championship.